hell's going on? Huh? What's going on? Nobody's in there. With the people next door or anything? Smoke to breathe. Holy shit, look at that wind. Yeah, everybody's out. Yeah. I was really cold though. Oh, okay.
fire at uh, about 8 a.m. this morning. We rolled up as we came around the corner. In fact, before we came around the corner, we could see the column of smoke. Notified all the companies that were responding that we had smoke, sh heavy smoke showing. Uh, let's go ahead and start that one over. That was a whole bad series. I'll, I'll, I can, I can just, I'll, I'll try to <laughs> Okay. Uh, as we were approaching, we could see a heavy column of smoke. We passed that word on to the rest of the companies that were responding. Uh, at that point, we went into a transitional attack mode. Uh, engine 22 position, pulled some hand lines and initiated an exterior attack, uh, which knocked the bolt of the fire down. We were able to start moving inside then and actually do an interior attack for overhaul. Uh, the entire front of the building behind me was fully engulfed in flames on our arrival. Any idea of what uh, could have caused the, the fire? Nothing at this point. It's still under investigation. Probably will be for some time. Okay. Uh, there's, uh, been talked that it could have been a possible drug fire. Any indications of that? Nothing that we saw specifically, but our investigators were the ones looking at that end of it. Okay. How long does an investigation like this usually take? If they have to get into doing things uh, with the testing laboratories, it can be a couple of weeks before they'll have anything 
answered A or nay as far as the uh, alcohol or gasoline being involved. Uh, beyond that, it's mostly just trying to do all the interviews and talk to everybody that was involved. In this particular case, we had four adults and a couple of pets that were inside. They've all been displaced, and Red Cross is helping with that. Uh, the neighbors uh, had some reports and some initial film footage, including some by uh, someone I'm being interviewed by. And uh, that's going to help the investigators with their look at what was going on prior to our arrival. How, how long have you been with Portland, uh, the Portland Fire Bureau? 34 years, 11 months, 3 weeks. <laughs> Alright. When, when was the last time you experienced a fire like this? Oh, shoot. It's been about a year and a quarter since I have. I normally work a 40-hour function, and I come out to the line and work overtime call shifts. Uh, and the last one was New Year's Day at Station 10 in 2012. All right. What's, uh, uh, so, given the uh, proposed uh, budget cuts, what is your opinion of that now? <laughs> we definitely uh, need... My uh... opinion hasn't changed. <laughs> um, I'm a strong proponent of the program that we have in place and that we are running at bare minimums. Uh, the chief's got to make some tough decisions, and council's got to come up with some money or come up with some other answers. So I take it this is a video that the mayor needs to see. <laughs> no comment? <laughs> All right. Mr. Mayor? <laughs> cool. Well, thank you so much for your time. You're welcome. Appreciate it. All right.